Hey guys, fun fact, this holiday shopping season, I decided that even though my large titanium cook kit is perfectly good, I wanted to make the ultimate solo titanium cook kit. My 900 ml titanium cook kit from Tokes that I custom put together, that's great for two people. I wanted something for one person. So, ordered a bunch of different titanium cook pots, a bunch of different titanium cook mugs, cups, pots, and you're looking at a picture of one of the ones I really shouldn't have ordered and I'm gonna get into the reasons why it's the ever new ultralight pasta pot 0 0.75 liter titanium cookware so why is this something I should have avoided completely. Well, every single review I've seen on YouTube for ever new products, and the company is based in Japan, and they seem to do most of their marketing towards the UK, mainly Britain and Scotland because all of the other reviewers I've seen on YouTube have either a British or Scottish accent and every single one of them except one has made glowing reviews about Evernews cook pots every single one except one a Scottish gentleman who talked about having to replace all of his titanium cook pots because someone broke into his boat and stole a bunch of stuff, including his titanium cook pots. I mean, who does that? Who does that? You're going to break in and you're going to steal cookware? I get it, it's titanium. But still, so all of his titanium cook pots were from a different brand. He decided to replace the ones that were stolen with examples from Evernew. And the ones he had purchased were Evernew's bigger titanium cook pots, mostly the non stick versions. And he said he was really happy with them, except for one thing. Even by titanium cook pot standards, in which the pots are made very thin to be as lightweight as possible, but still be functional, even by titanium cook pot standards, the ones from Evernew were too thin, too flexible, and he advised stuffing the cook pots with large towels when you're not actually using them to cook on. Otherwise, you risk crushing them, and crushing them rather easily. Well, since his review was on the larger ever new cook pots instead of the smaller ones, I decided to take a chance on this one because I found a review outside of YouTube, a written review online in which an individual praised this specific titanium cook pot as being absolutely wonderful. Now even though it's advertised as a pasta pot, he said it made an absolutely wonderful cook pot on the trail, hiking, you know, giving off the impression that this would make an excellent cook pot in a bug out bag 
or a get home bag for one person and oh what a dirty dirty liar he was let's take a look why let me just adjust the camera a bit yeah sorry guys that's the best angle I can get okay so it looks like a really good cook pot the lid extends over the top and you do get a black plastic knob normally I don't like these because they don't fold flat but the good thing with the ever new and I'll give credit where it's due due to this dished out portion here the top of this is nearly nearly flat with the top of the lid Here's the problem though, it is sharp all the way around, have fun gripping that, and since the lid extends all the way around on the sides, yeah, it doesn't come off easily, it pops off. Now maybe the reason why it pops off, and let's make sure you guys can see this. Look at that ridiculous level of flex. You should not be able to do this with a titanium cook pot. And I am not a bodybuilder. I am not Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. I'm barely applying pressure and this is flexing to what I consider to be a ridiculous degree. And because of that, because of that flex, and yeah, it's not flexing back into place, guys. Let me try to flex it the other way a bit so I can actually get the top back on. Yeah, this, oh, this top does not want to go back on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, all of those wonderful, glowing reviews for ever new titanium cook pots from all those other individuals. That one glowing written review outside of YouTube. See, this is why my channel is necessary. This is why I started making videos because all those glowing reviews from people it's like oh oh man oh I don't know what to say guys except don't waste your money on ever new all those reviews on YouTube that one glowing review outside of YouTube. There was one review on YouTube, and I wish I could link you guys to that review, but I don't remember the name of the guy's channel. But there was one individual who said, hey, overall, I'm happy with my ever new cook kit, but these ever new cook pots, even by titanium cook pot standards are made too thin they're too flexible stuff them with heavy towels when you don't use them so you don't accidentally crush them yeah wonderful advice here's some advice from me avoid ever new products i'll see you guys next time have a good one